Do you have an inquiring mind with a strong background in science? Do you like to assess different kinds of information to come up with unique solutions to problems? Would you enjoy working in a laboratory with advanced medical instruments? If these ingredients get a good reaction from you, they might be the perfect formula for a career as a pharmacologist. Pharmacologists are scientists who study how drugs and chemicals interact with living systems. Working as part of a team, they use their knowledge to help research, design, and evaluate drugs to safely prevent and improve treatment of diseases and other conditions. To help us study this therapeutic career, we consulted with a pharmacologist working here in Alberta. Hi, I'm Stephanie and I'm a pharmacologist. A pharmacologist is a biomedical scientist and they're interested in designing drugs to treat different medical conditions. And they're also interested in what the drug does to the body. So what is the effect that you feel when you consume a drug? Pharmacologists can work in kind of two areas. You're either working in what we call preclinical research where you're working with cell cultures and animal models or you're working people, in which case we'd call you clinical pharmacologist and you're working to help them dose their drugs or to research new drugs. Myself, I'm in the cannabis industry, um, but pharmacologists can be found pretty much anywhere there is interest in drug and health, so health authorities, research like universities, and different academic institutions. You have a lot of options if you're in the field. Every day for me is very different, but in general, I respond to a lot of emails. I also take a number of meetings. Sometimes I do take meetings with external research partners so that we can explore those relationships. I do a lot of reading of the scientific literature and summarize that into reports. I read the science literature for a number of reasons. Um, it's helped to inform others within the company on different projects that they should pursue based on what we see in the evidence. And it also helps me understand where I want my team to go in terms of our research. If you're a pharmacologist in a research lab, you may be involved with designing research and ordering uh, drugs and materials and running those labs. It really depends if you're in the lab, if you're doing animal work, but you could also be doing cell work. Um, you could also find yourself sitting at a computer analyzing data that somebody else collected. For us um, in industry, we are more focused on human research, so we're looking for clinical research partners. Uh, that could be observational studies where we're having patients fill out surveys, or we could do interventional studies where we're providing the drug of interest and the, the team that's running the research is comparing our drug and its effects and safety with either placebos or another drug for that same condition. As a pharmacologist, uh, the duties you have day to day are going to differ depending upon where you end up. So if you're in an academic institution running research, then your jobs would be to design the study, order the drugs, and the, keep the lab going. For myself in industry, my duties are a little different than what would be in academia. So my job is to manage our research relationships and cultivate new ones, as well as ensuring that our medical science communications are accurate and consistent, as science is always changing. The top skills that I would say a pharmacologist should have would be a good organization and time management, critical thinking, as well as really good communication. You will likely have to work in a team setting, so it's important for you to be able to collaborate well with others, as well as problem solve, so that you can all work towards a common goal. There are many different routes you can take to become a pharmacologist. To begin with, you should get a Bachelor of Science, and that may result in specialization in pharmacology for your bachelor. And then moving on, you would get a graduate degree, a master's or a PhD, uh, with a specialization in pharmacology and or an MD, so a medical doctor, or a PharmD as a pharmacist, and specialize in pharmacology that way. If you're interested in being a pharmacologist, I highly recommend it. If you want to be involved at any part within understanding a disease and how we can improve our treatment of it, everything I do does end up bettering the lives of our patients and helping people. And so I would say if you're interested in any of that, it's for you. Pharmacology thrives on the right mixture of perseverance, patience, critical thinking, and solid communication skills. It also requires being able to analyze complex scientific and medical data and confidence working with sophisticated equipment. If you're looking for a career with a healthy outlook, pharmacology might be your perfect remedy. The only side effect? A high level of job satisfaction. 
Why not do some more research on this career and learn more about training requirements and salary ranges in the occupational profile on the ALICE website. While you're there, you can examine related occupations, such as agrologist, biologist, and toxicologist. Explore the possibilities. Go to alice.alberta.ca.